Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of February. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could be a past energy, it could be a present, and it could be the future. However, it resonates with you. I am saying this could happen at any time in February if this reading is for you. Um... What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We are going to get one of these. What do we have for Aries? I guess that's it, huh? Cycles. So there's a cycle that is ending in your life. Uh, life is a never-ending cycle, right? It's a never-ending story, but this tells me that a cycle is coming to an end. Uh, a season, right? Seasons change, people change, uh, we all change. So there is definitely something that is changing significantly. You could kind of call this like the wheel of fortune. It's the wheel of change. That's what a cycle is. So uh, one thing ends, another thing begins. This is the wheel of life, right? So I think that there is a major life change that is coming for you. It is very big. It's big. It is big, okay, because, you know, when a cycle comes to an end, it's something that you were invested in, something that you were heavily invested in, right? It's something that you uh, probably learned a life lesson from. Um, but now it's like you're at the right place in your life. It is the right time, and it's time. It's time for a positive change. So that old cycle is coming to an end, and you are about to begin a new one, and this is very positive, so it's a it's a positive uh, new beginning, is what it is. Now sixes are about the journey to balance and harmony. So what is it? Whatever is happening is bringing you towards balance and harmony in your life, right? Sixes are also a spiritual wake up call. I was going to get two cards. So it's like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening at the at this time. The key. Ooh. Successful outcome to your problems. Candle, you will be shown the way. You are going to be shown the way and I think it's beautiful. It is that you're going to be shown the way to success. So, I mean, it, it's beautiful. You're being, it's like the light. It's like you're being shown the light. There's nothing to worry about. Just, just go, just go. Okay. It, it, so it's basically, you think about the cycle. You're on a bike and you're pedaling, you're pedaling forward. You're not going backwards. You're moving forward. Um, and it is forward to success. So yeah, it's good. It is definitely good. No more. It's like you're moving away from the problems. The problems are going to be behind you, Aries. So, oh, there it is. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So uh, you obviously, let me just fix this. You've been dealing with a jealous individual, right? Somebody that is very possessive. Somebody that is very uh, not grounded, materialistic, lazy. And, and I don't know, maybe this is you, I don't know, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with, but this is in your right now position, what, what you're doing right now, okay? So this is, you know, a financial mess or, you know, feeling ungrounded. Now, it could be you or, or somebody that, that is very prominent in your life right now that you are moving away from. This is stubbornness. This is lazy. This is lack of energy. This is... Uh, jealous this is possessive this is wasteful okay somebody that's ungrounded and insecure so this is a need to stabilize okay you need to stabilize um uh, somebody has been uh in some sort of illusion and confusion you know there's been made a poor choice somebody had made it's like it's almost like getting married for money you know, yeah, married for the stability of it, but not for love. Somebody has made a poor choice. And that's just an example. So somebody has made a poor decision and now what they're seeing clearly, I consider this reversed. You pick it up, you go like that. So it is reversed. So the challenge is seeing clearly whoever it is that you're dealing with. Now this could be you, but it may, I don't, for some reason, I don't think it is. I think you have dealt with somebody that is not very loyal. And this person barks, right? They don't talk. 
they bark or they whine you know they do a lot of whining you know um so i think that you're dealing with somebody who is very childish um but you do have an empress that is is below you you may not have seen this person yet this person may not have seen you this could be you that you are if you are the feminine watching this you are becoming the empress but you only become the empress through pain okay that's a fact so if you are the masculine watching this this is this is what is below you okay this is below the surface it's like it, it's coming it's coming. Okay, this is a very beautiful individual. This is uh, somebody that is motherly, somebody that is tender, somebody that is abundant, somebody that gives unconditional love. Okay, so this is unconditional love that is below the surface for you. In the past, it has been a constant battle. You have been fighting with somebody. You have been. I think whoever you've been dealing with it was very selfish. This person was mean-spirited. This person had hidden agendas. All they like to do is fight and, and bitch and complain. And whoever you were dealing with in that cycle that you are completing, you were dealing with somebody who was very uh, possessive, very hard, to, assertive, very hard to deal with, almost like a malicious energy. This person was a bully. I think you were dealing with a bully in the past, but I feel like, you know, you're ready to be done with it. You are, you're ready. You're just, you're sick of it. You're frustrated. You can't do this anymore. We got the four of swords reversed up here. What is above you? Okay. It's above the surface right now. It's like, I, I can't deal with this anymore. You have drained me to the max. I'm done. So I feel like right now you, you're done. You're done. You're, you're going through a period of, you know, you're probably, you probably will have your guard up. Maybe you're blocking this person. You know, you're just like, they've drained your energy so much that you're at the point of complete exhaustion. I mean, you're just like having health issues. This person has depleted you to the extremes. I feel as though in the future you're about to regain your power. Okay, you're going to be making a decision that based on the facts. It's like I got to I got to use my head here so in the future you are about to regain control and you know it's not easy. You know it's not pretty, but I think you are you're going to be acting on, you know, your own truth. You know, it's like you're going to see the truth, you know the truth, and you know what you got to do. So in the, and if you are the feminine watching this, you may be having somebody in the future that comes into your life that um, helps you to see the truth. If you are the masculine, I think this is you seeing the truth, knowing the truth. You've done some sort of investigation. You've gotten the clarity. You are no longer confused. And it's like, you know, I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. I got to isolate myself from this individual that has drained me so much so i do need to hit pause for just a second i will be right back okay now as i had to pause for a second you're gonna have to pause you're gonna have to take a pause you are absolutely going to have to um it just got really hot really really hot all of a sudden and and, and um it's almost like you 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 get really really hot you need to take a break. So something is probably going to happen. You got to take a break. You know, when a cycle is ending, if you flip, say you flip your, you flip your bike, right? You, you, you take a minute to recover. So I do feel like it's going to be a recovery period for you during this month. You're recovering from uh, dealing with an individual who was uh, very stubborn, uh, bitchy, nasty, uh selfish, materialistic, you know, you're de dealing with somebody who really dragged you through the mud, okay? And they may have even dragged your family through the mud. I feel like you will need to take a break absolutely positively. You're going to need to take a pause, okay? You're going to need to breathe. You may need to get some fresh air, okay? Um, so anyway, let's get back to the cards. Let's get back to... In the future, you're going to be regaining control. I see you making a decision. Okay, it's it's going to be a hard decision and it's going to be based on facts in the future. If you are the feminine, there could be somebody that is making a decision for you. Okay, they're, they're deciding that they're going to protect you. This is a protector. Okay, um, you're definitely going to be shown the way. Um, now the four of cups, the, the overall outcome, that is 
feeling like you definitely see this is take you're definitely going to need to take a break i think you're going to need time to think about everything that has happened something is about to be revealed okay i think there's been some secrets i think that you know it i think that you 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 you're probably fearful you're probably fearful of the future because of what of what has happened in the past there's fear here with the moon and that's in your hopes and fears fear of the unknown so i think there's a lot of fear i think that you are feeling very fearful of you know what's next what's above me what's what is going to happen maybe there's i mean this is death there's there could be somebody here that is fearful of judgment day you know fearful of death um, there's definitely some fear here, but there's also clarity. Okay. Receiving because it's receiving clarity. So I think that you are, there's nothing to worry about. You're going to be shown the way you see that card. You're going to be shown the day way you may, you're fearful of the unknown, right? You're fearful of, of what's to come. There's, there's nothing to be as afraid of. Okay. The light. That's the light. You will be, you, you, I'm serious. You, this is like upright. This is the shadow. This is the light. Okay, so the the light is going to be shown. Anything that has been hidden, anything that you are afraid of, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. They are going to show you the way. They're going to show you the way to success. Okay, all right? So there's really nothing to worry about. There isn't. I feel like you're going to receive the clarity. You're going to receive any information that you are worried about. I can see you overanalyzing, thinking, uh, praying. You may be praying, you know, praying for protection or praying for this or praying for that. Yes, your prayers are going to be answered. If you are, if you're worried, there's nothing like I said that go of the worries. You are protected. I know that you are. Okay. This is a wish being granted. This is help from above. Okay, this is heaven. This is a blessing in your environment. There is help. Somebody is guiding you. They are guiding you down the right path. There is nothing to worry about. Stop doubting yourself. Whoever it is that you are dealing with that is so nasty, um, don't look back. Do not look back. Keep going. Okay, this is this. They've heard your prayers and they're they're going to protect you and they're guiding you in the direction that you need to go. Okay, right now you got the hangman reversed. Cut yourself loose. Literally cut those cords. Just don't hang on. This is down here in your in your advice column or area or spot or whatever the hell you want to call it. This is not learning a lesson. That's resisting change. Refusing to let go. Let go of what doesn't serve you. There's a lack of respect. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't respect you. They don't even respect your family. Let this person go. Could be Pisces. This person is abusive. It's like this person is, is punishment. Okay? They punish you. They're the martyr. They're the victim. You're dealing with somebody who can do no wrong in their eyes, right? It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It could be anybody. This person is not enlightened. They're not awakened. And they are keeping you trapped. Let them go. Cut them free. Cut yourself free. You are missing a big opportunity by holding on to this person that is... It's almost like I feel like this person was using you. I don't see any love in these cards except for down here, okay, below the surface that hasn't been shown to you yet. There is some unconditional love that is waiting. It's waiting for you to keep pedaling. It's waiting for you to follow that light. It's waiting for you to see that you got to keep going. It's waiting for you to face your fears. It's waiting for you to step into unknown territory. Step out of the darkness and into the light. Seriously, that's what the moon is reversed. Let go of the fear. There is a lot of fear. Fear of the unknown. Paranoia as well. Paranoid of what's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. It's, it's, it's almost like 
You don't trust yourself. Anyway, I feel like this month you're going to receive some sort of information or clarity about a person that you are dealing with that is very selfish. Okay, this person is selfish. They're materialistic and they're not loyal at all. I feel like you probably made a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice. They made a poor decision. Uh, they didn't choose wisely. And it's been, it's been killing them ever since. Okay, it's been nasty. It's been a constant battle. This person uh, is dangerous. This person is malicious. This person is selfish. The person, and that person, you know, has been uh, bullying them for a long, bullying you for a long time. You are definitely dealing with a bully. This was a, some sort of lesson because this is the the hangman is about a lesson to be learned. It is. So you had a lesson to learn, and this lesson is about. Yeah. What is this lesson about? Let's get another card. This lesson is about heart. Not things. This lesson is about heart. It's about what you invest in. It's about, yeah, it's like you tried to, now this is money. It is. It is. <sighs> horrendous loss this lesson is definitely about fortune oh god so somebody made a poor choice based on wanting to have it all ego seriously this is a very egotistical card and so isn't this they invested in something that was materialistic this is materialistic this is materialistic i want to have it all it feels like we have somebody here that, that that needed to learn a lesson about love. It's it's not about having it all. The wheel of fortune reverses is a horrendous loss. It's is uh, it's it's a setback. It's it's not working out. A fall from grace. Negative repetitive patterns. Um, past mistakes coming back to haunt you. Greedy, selfish. I want to have it all. Investing in something that uh, it's a dead end. You can't make it grow in this little space. You need to go someplace else. You can't make this grow anymore. It's dead. It's dead. So it's like you invested in something that wasn't practical. But it looked good. Hoping. You were hoping. I see that. You were really hoping that it would work out. But you, it's it's not about love here. There's really no love in these cards. Right here, it's like hoping that this person would love you if you if you gave them everything. It's like you were hoping, but it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be because it was based off of financial gain from the beginning. Something about financial gain. But now, externally, you are being protected. They have heard your prayers, and it's time to step into unknown territory and face your fears. You are very fearful, fearful of what's going to happen next. I see that. Thinking about it all the time, very paranoid. Very, very paranoid. But you're going to be shown the way to success. Don't invest in something that is dead. Don't give it your energy. Go someplace else. So in the future, you're going to be making a decision, or somebody else is, a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you that you need to do something. You're going to receive some sort of message, a download, or clarity, or a message from somebody that has passed away, or something like that. They're going to receive some sort of message. Could be from an intuitive. Could be from a tarot reader. Somebody that is very spiritual. You're going to receive a message from somebody. This is part of the script. This is part of the script. It's part of the plan. This has all happened for a reason. Somebody is going to come and guide you down a new path. This has been a game, right? It has been a game. Uh, 
Well, that's just for you, huh? Looks like the lights are going to go out. They are. Yep, 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 yep. The lights are going to go out. And, uh... They're going to be... It is. It's just the way it is. I mean, I don't even think they have a lighter in here. But smoking, so... Um... The lights are going to go out. From darkness to light. From darkness to light. So yeah, there, there's there, things are going to get better. Don't worry about it. I got to do is... Uh, well, pretty freaking amazing, don't you think? You will be shown the way. Yes, it may have been dark. It may have been dark. But you will. You will. You will be shown the way. So this month, you're probably going to go through a dark night of the soul moment. But you're going to come back brighter than ever. Good luck. <laughs>